Right, February 2024. Um, here we are at Wavecrest again. We've just arrived. We got here. Charlie saw a nice bit of sand off the off the block and decided to go over throw and within three casts he caught a nice cob. So I'm heading out my on out there now to see what he's got and whether it's worthwhile carrying on. Hopefully we'll be able to get some nice footage of Cobb and hopefully if the water cleans up a bit some Garrick as well. Uh, we are first afternoon Charlie's just caught one and I just caught hooked another one here in this lovely white water. But I um, don't think it's very big but at least we getting the rod started in for hopefully what will be a productive week. Zoom 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 little I say you got to start off small, eh? There we go. Charlie onto a fish. Don't think it's that looks very small, but we'll take it nevertheless. There we go, Charles. Very rough out there. Such a small fish. I just lost one, so there are some out there. Just hooked into a solid fish here. It's a nice big one. It's a fatty, pulled quite a lot of line. I first hit him, so it feels like a nice fish. It's going to be a bit tricky bringing him in, it's very rocky here. Yeah? And we don't fish with very heavy line or leaders. So, yeah, he's going through the rocks there, but I'm just hoping he'll get a nice bit of water to come and help me get it off, off that reef. Yeah, over he comes. That's uh, a much better size, eh? <laughs> that not a beauty. Look at that. Very lucky to get him through all those reefs and things, but uh, sometimes you need a little bit of luck. Beautiful fish. Cool. This is what we call double trouble. Charlie's got one and I've got one at the same time to help us. There we go. There he comes. See him there. There we go. Nice. Oh, we've had a... Ah. Paddle tail came out and he didn't swim away. So now he's going to get tagging him for all his troubles. Charlie's busy tagging. I think we've got five here, which is not a bad afternoon's fishing, I must say. And we caught two earlier on, so it's seven. Fish. Everything we caught today has been released. This one doesn't want to go. There we go, Charles. Yeah. Okay, go do the next one, Charles. There he's gone. No, the little ones come back. <laughs> there they go. There they go. Yo. Okay, just woken up. Um, we're going out trying to catch the low tide. Low tide's at about 20 past 9. It's quarter to 6 now, so we're going to walk along the beach. Um, it's about a 3k walk to that point that you can see there in the haze. And um, we're going to fish that area and around the corner. Uh, looking for cob, but let's see what happens. Okay, first one on the surf. Not very big, but the shape looks brilliant here yeah, so oh, I think yeah no he's still there um, the biggest problem is everything looks nice here yeah, so you, you don't really know where to fish it's not very big but uh, like yesterday we'll start with the small ones I think there we go come on 
Det är här. Jag kommer min arka. Och det är mallet jag har rätt så gott sagt. Well, you walked away from me on the beach this morning. We thought it was a bit cold. And I was thinking of going back because it looked so terrible. And the next minute I see him with a really nice car behind the beach. That beach and I saw a patch of white water. The water's ice cold. It's a beautiful fish, eh? Hey? Yo, Charles, that's nice. Keep it that side where it's silver. Beautiful, you've tagged it already. Let's have a look there. Well done Charlie, in the ice cold water, it just shows you, eh? Look at the camera. Beautiful. Lovely fish. Charlie into another fish. He's really been very lucky on this trip. Says it's a smaller fish. Let's have a look. Yeah, makes a difference. Eh? Charlie, two cars, two fish. So much for the cold water. Yeah, what's it about 15? Eh? It's about 15 degrees, and we're still catching, which is quite unusual. Aubrey de Barmalua working like an absolute dream again. Well done. Ah, oh, finally into a fish. But they had it just come with the water. There you go. Bring him the water. There he is. Nice fish. Eighty. Well done, man. Yes. Charles, it didn't fight, eh? I thought I'd, it was coming in sideways. It's like I'll let it go. You pull that tag out a bit, Ching. My dad going on. Oh, it's lovely. Nice fish. Beautiful. 84. Tag. Beautiful. Let's get him back. He's quite heavy too. Damn. Swimming the wrong way. Swimming the wrong way. There we go. And gone. Justin Fullstone fighting a decent sized cob. Poor guy, it's on the morning that he's got to go home. So I've got a funny feeling the plans might change somewhat now. Hey Jason, Justin. There we go, second one for the morning, eh? Yeah, Sam. Well done, man. Okay. Charlie just went onto a big, big. We think it's a cob. It's taken a lot of line. Beautiful setup, water nice and not warm, but I guess warm enough. But this fish took a lot of line at the beginning. It seems to have, for, have given up by now. Never mind. I thought that was a bit bigger. Not bad. Still a lovely fish. Tag him in? Yeah, let's put a tag him in and put him back. Oh.
first one of the holiday for me right at my feet it took me I was actually reeling in quickly to get another throw out and all of a sudden I just took you can see how close it is in already that's more or less where it took me so Fifty five centimeters tagged and successfully released as well. Beautiful. Straight back in. A few minutes later, Charlie on again, same spot. West is blowing a bit now, but still great fishing conditions. And this is number three for this spot this morning. So about three and three and thirty minutes or so. Also quite close in. Very close. Very close, yeah. You can see this gully just in front of us here. And we throw in over onto the sand. But they seem to be catching or biting in the gully. Very close at our feet. We just got onto this big rock here in the middle of in the middle of the ocean I would say. Two casts in and Charlie's already on. Well done, better than nothing. Hey, CJ into what he says is a world record car, but we'll see. Well done, CJ. Not too shabby. Finally, after a long two hours of fishing, a carp comes out. Well, hopefully, let's see what happens. Not very big, but I'll take it. Tiny, actually. <laughs> Fish is gone. I don't know where <laughs> it's gone. First one of the afternoon. Very small. I think it must be a grunter. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Let's have a look. Oh no, stump nose. <laughs> Definitely not the target species. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Unhooks himself. back in the water he goes. Hooked onto a nice fish here. He just screamed line. Oh Granta, can you believe it? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful take. First decent sized Granta of the holiday. There we go. There we go. What a lovely grunter, hey? Probably about 45. Oh, let's get that hook out. Hook out. What a lovely grunter. What a lovely grunter. I'm not going to take him out the net with all the spikes in the pontoons, but not a bad one. So let's put him back. Gone. Another fish. 
a bit heavier. Hooked himself, to be honest with you. <laughs> What's that? He just took line. And this little cob. Finally, a cob for the day. Very dark looking cob, I must say. Very, very dark colored. Must be a river cob. Very brown in color, I must say. Very brown. Very cute little cob at that. Let's put him back. And gone. Lovely. Last day on the Trans Sky. Northeast has been blowing for the last three days, so the water's are ice cold. But the cob still seem to be biting. Well done. Very good. On, finally. My father's just caught two here. And after about 10 minutes, I got my first one. Not too big. Very, very small cob. <laughs> Tiny. <laughs> I think it's the smallest cob I've ever caught. Put them in with the other two. There we go. back. Gone. And the last one going now. Oh. 